I spent far too many years making other people's opinions my own. My life is my own to live, and while it's important to hear the voices and opinions of others, it's also equally important to have your own, based on your own experience, your own life, your joys and your struggles. Other people's stories are not irrelevant, but they are their stories, not your stories. Being a solitary witch is about learning to listen to your voice. It's about finding your own inner strength, your own power. It is about connecting to nature, to the goddess and the god. It is not only about finding your voice, but speaking up with it even if it is just to the blackbird at dusk. Being a solitary witch is feeling in tune with the cycles of nature the flows and the rhythms of the earth, of the sea, of the sky, of the cosmos. It is about understanding the beauty in all things, from the beauty of the sunbeam that works its way across the wall, the dappled sunlight through the leaves of the trees in full summer, the flash of lightning in a thunderstorm, the mysteries of the galaxy whirling in its cosmic round. It is about knowing who you are, and in knowing who you are, you will then know where you are, and how you fit into the great scheme of things. When you know where you are, you will also know where you are going, and you will have a clear sense of who, where, and what you want to be, what you can be, and you won't let anyone tell you otherwise. Listen to your heart, listen to your soul, for the goddess is within, the god is within, as well as all around us in nature. If we can't trust our instincts, if we can't find the voice of the goddess and god within, then we will never find them without. It is important to do your research, to do your homework. It is important to hear the stories of others but do not make the mistake that I did. Do not make them your own. Their stories are their stories, and your story is your story, and every story will be different, and that is the beauty of solitary witchcraft. Each and every practitioner is different. Each and every practitioner sees the beauty of life sees it through the lens of their own perspective, their own intelligence, through their own emotions, and through their own power. If you're watching this video, then you may very well be a solitary witch. One who longs to dance under the moon, to sing to the stars, to honor the times and tides of life and the cycles of the sun, to kiss the earth, feel the power in your belly, to walk the land in harmony, and to find the enchantment that lies in every single thing. This is your path. No one can walk it for you. Blessings on your journey.